That's a shot. What's the good in there? That's bad for fact. That's Morris. No more room in hell. The dead will walk here. Hey, what's up, Horror Fiends? Shark Month here continues on Horror Fiend TV. You are watching the Three Corners of Horror. I'm your boy, Ricky Grimes. Here with my two brothers. First, I'm gonna introduce to you the man, the hefe, the boss, JR. What up, kid? Yeah, Shark Month is uh, reeling, and we got a good one because no CGI. So, we're gonna do a little bit of swimming, or are we just gonna get ready to? You take it down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, the psychologist, my brother. What's up? How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm good, dude. I, I, I'm looking forward to talking about this one. Um, yeah, this, this is gonna for Shark Week. Perfect pick. Love it. Um, I ain't got one of the quips. I don't know. Maybe I can say that this one took a good bite out of me in a good way. We will be discussing the 2010 film The Reef. Directed and written by Andrew Trocky, starring Damien Walsh Howling as Luke and Zoe Naylor as Kate. The Reef is about a pair of two couples and a boat captain who get stuck at sea and drifting further into the Australian ocean after their yacht capsizes and they are forced to make a drastic decision. Swim to the nearest island or stay on top of the boat as it slowly sinks. The catch though, Warren, the boat guide, fishes those waters and he knows what lurks beneath. That's pretty fucked up. If that was me, I don't know what I would do, but I'm gonna throw it to my boy, Joe the Psychologist. You up first, bro. What you thought about the Reef? Dude, Um. so I did see this a couple years ago. I wanna say when it came out and, and loved it then. But, you know, again, with us doing the show, it, it you put different lenses on to watch the movie. And I fucking love this movie. It, it It's... It has a lot of great buildup that you have slow moments, but the slow moments accentuate the movie itself. Um, but, you know, as JR said, a real shark, it was in CGI. So it helped add to the whole fear element of the shark, you know, being chased down. Dude, this, I, I, cause I'll wait for the end, but I love this fucking movie. I highly, highly recommend this movie. And I'm in New Smart, I mean, I'm in Florida. And I don't know if in your news recently, we've had a lot of shark bites in New Smyrna Beach, which is the beach that I go to. But, you know, we go to the area where the dolphins swim. So that's usually a good sign. But, th dude, this is a great shark. Uh, um, you know, it's not Jaws, but is it close enough to be Jaws? Maybe, possibly. I find it as a as a different take on the shark genre. I'll get more into that as I go. But I want to hear what my man, Jr. What's good? What's good, brother? Well, to be honest, I feel like this is what open water should have been. It didn't feel conventional and nothing was really manufactured. And I and I always say this. I said this one bait as well. The foreshadowing in this film was great because the moment uh, the character of Shane, you see him very, very briefly, but he's talking about um, all those jaws like the trophies essentially of the sharks the tiger sharks mako sharks you know the, the great white you see, what, that was a great white you said white tip right is that a white tip it's different shark i think yeah, it's, it's a different, different shark, shark. Different shark. Yeah, so yeah. white tip different shark but no, nonetheless it was the biggest pair of jaws One, that was, was on there that. i was so and and uh, i believe it was kate that was looking at that and she was like whoa and he's like yeah all this was caught in that in the ocean and of course you know um a warren knows what's out there so from the moment they get on there and the moment their boat capsizes and you see like the splashing of the fish in the water you don't know if it's fish you don't know what it is it's just splashing and then you and then um the character of uh the character of luke very smart character because he he knows what he's doing he he could he, he could tell you oh we got to go north because of the sundial hitting this and that so he said turtle island is just over there north but you don't know that so of course they you know they get they get in the water and the fact that Warren does not get in the water he's like no no man nah I, I know what's in these waters he he fishes there you know they they know what's in there 
And he's like, nah, nah. I wish you would have elaborated more. Like, listen, man, I, this fucking killer fucking shark's in there. But he right here, yeah. <laughs> he just said, no, no, I know what's in there. So, okay, so three out of the four uh, jump into the water, correct? Four yeah, out no, of the five. Four, four out of four five. five. Four out yeah. of five, yeah. Four out of the five jump in the water. So the moment they get into the water, everything's calm, cool, they're joking around. Then they see that the, the, the floating shell. It's in the distance. It's again. It's a foreshadowing. It's getting closer and closer and closer. I'm a. I love animals, uh, but I, I, I'm I, a big turtle advocate. I felt bad for this part. I, I watched own, and I went. I have oh, my no. own turtle. The part is, that's my daughter. I call her my daughter Rosita. Shout out to Rosita. So when I saw that turtle shell pop up, I was like, "Yeah, that thing is dead," you know. But the fact that they didn't rush it, it slowly got closer and closer to them with the waves going up and down, and they found that it was mutilated. So okay, it could have died and got scavenged. You don't know. Yeah. But again, yeah. it's that foreshadowing. And again, they, you hear the birds, and again the splashes. You see Warren on top of the yacht. He ain't going nowhere. He's looking around and he's bugging out. And the last we see of him. What do we see? That dorsal fin, bro. That's all you need to see. So everything was just escalated to the point where your anxiety is it's like, oh my God. Like imagine being stuck in the water. Especially in Matt and, and Susie don't know how to swim. They do know how to swim, but not very well. What's up? I can't swim very well. So Me neither. I can't swim I'd be at fucked there. <laughs> like, I would want one of those floaty things. I, I might fight you for that floaty yeah. thing. <laughs> so, exactly my point. So, when they're out there, man, yeah, I love the fact when they saw that first shark. The way they first saw it. Man. I'm not too familiar with the real backstory of this film. Or the real story of what happened. Here. So, the floor is yours. Yeah, so like I was saying before, I mean, Ray Bonney was the one that he survived it. And he was found. Still floating in the water. I mean, which kind of you know makes you wonder how the hell this guy can survive this whole thing. But it's like a lot of the scenes are reminiscent of what happened to the two people he was with. Yeah. You know, he had the scene where you know of uh, the character I forgot his name. He gets his leg just ripped right off by the shark, which was a freaking awesome scene. Matt, Matt, yeah, he's just like floating in the water, and then you know they're like trying to get to him and he's like go away go away you know it's too late just save yourself he and knows he's there's fucked. blood around he yeah. knows the shark's gonna come back i mean yeah. that's the first thing i thought of oh blood of the water it's a wrap yeah that Bro, motherfucker ain't going you guys right go now. you guys go at this point <laughs> and think about it if if this movie took place the same area that the original like story took place in the northeast section of australia if you don't know australia the northeast section is the most Deadliest of all of them because you have the great whites in the water, you have the salt water crocodiles. If you finally make it in land, if you're not running from a Komodo dragon, you're running from a dingo. So it is the most savage and the most. This Komodo dragon is in Australia. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. And that in that one area, this it's so bad. So the fact that you know. And I, and I kept going to the back. So I'm like, wow, this is this is amazing how they took tidbits of what happened and still were able to pull off. A, a, let's be honest, a great shark movie with the fact that the real sharks added to the film, because when we see CGI sharks, we expect the CGI sharks. We expect we're already expecting bad effects, bad kills in a way. But the fact that this one, kudos once again, I give them because the fact that kills happen but they weren't they weren't all visual there so you got a little bit of the attack and a little bit of the aftermath of it yeah. which yeah i mean i i, I love the fact that they, the first time i saw this movie i had to go back as yo did they really swim with freaking real sharks <laughs> but yeah i mean this film i mean briefly real quick do you think the true events behind this added like an extra element to this film mm-hmm. I, I wish that if would I wish they would have did in the film if I was to give it a little slight knock? If they would have added a little bit of the story, like a backstory to it, and then lo and behold, a couple of years later, this happens again, I think it would be kind of because imagine if you would have been in the store seeing all the sharks, and then right next to it is a newspaper clipping, which you can actually didn't see the newspaper clipping online of the Ray Bounty story. I mean, that would have been cool because now they're giving a little bit more shade to it, a little bit more. You know what's gonna eventually happen, but yeah, I mean, knowing that, knowing that 
there's a backstory to it, and this is why I wasn't a fan of open water, and I, I don't mean to keep knocking open water, was the fact that that was assumed that they were attacked by sharks. Nobody knows. They could have drowned, but they added the shark element to it without being 100% verified. Whereas they glorified this one, their deaths. And they yes. To... I mean, they could have just drowned. They could have been pissed off and killed each other now, you know. But in this one, at least there's a backstory, and the backstory so two of the scenes in the backstory kind of, you know, they showed it in the film, which was even better because now you don't lose your imagination. Now you can actually see it. So when I, I didn't read as much as JR did. So when I watched the movie, because I knew that a male had survived, that actually heightened watching this movie because I'm like, are they going to make Luke survive it? You know, so now you're like, are, are they going to make the change? So now who is actually going to survive this at the end? So the fact that I knew that there was a true story element to it added to the movie because it was like, you knew that you had one survivor, but the whole time as I'm watching it, knowing that information, it's which one is going to be the last survivor. And, you know, I'm thankful that they went with, um, shit, what was her name? Katie. Katie, Katie right? I, I was going to say Kate. And, uh, yeah, but, Katie. Um, all right, so I'm thankful they 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 went with her because to me then it would have kind of kept a little bit to the more of the source material, and when you keep it to the source, you know, then you made some changes, but you still kept it. So I, I did like that from the actual elements they changed it. The, you know, the the dude, like first of all, like I said, when you guys were talking about like the fish in the water, when I'm in the beach, and as I said, swimming in the shark bite capital of the United States. <laughs> When I see fish jump around, I'm like, uh, I gotta start moving back a little bit, you know. And you literally see the birds, like when you see on um, Animal, not Animal Planet, but uh, Planet Earth, I think it's called, where they show the birds diving into the water. Blue planet. Yeah. yeah. I was just at the beach and they were doing that. And I'm like, yep. so the last episode I watched, it was <laughs> sharks and um, the tunas sharks and everything. Fish right. Everything. Shore. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, um, Jocelyn Christian, let's just just go back a little bit more. Just you know, like like I didn't want to like say the because and down here you don't actually say shark. I mean, we just say the s word. It's called the s word. You don't want to shout out shark because it's gonna freak people out. But like the the fact that this movie was based on actual events and like I think they say it right in the beginning. They do, yeah. So it is you know one of those that you realize that some real people die. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, these were actors. These portrayed fictional characters. Fictional or non-fictional? Fictional, right? Mm -hmm. All right. They played fictional characters. It, 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 like, just knowing that, it, I don't know if you knew that, Rick, but just knowing that there was a true story to this, that it, what made this movie just even better. Most definitely. I mean, right, you mentioned it right off the jump. During the opening credits, it says based on true events as the film as the film begins to proceed. Um, yeah, I, I dig the whole real life aspect to it. Of course, they're going to glorify a few things here and there because it is cinema and they need to make it entertaining. But what I really dug about it, it like I mentioned earlier, it didn't, it's not like an adventure film. There's no teenagers. There's no kids in this movie. It's adults, mature characters making mature decisions. You know, they got either you stay on this boat that's going to sink and is continuing to drift further and further into the ocean or we take our chances and we head out into land. Me personally, I don't know how to swim, but I probably would have took my chances in the water, to be honest with you, because I don't want to slow death. At least if yeah. you're in the water, you, yeah, OK, I don't want to eat by a shark either, but it's a chance you take. At least if you stay on the boat, you know you're done. And it's a slow, agonizing wait. Unless you think they're going to have someone come and rescue you. But at the same time, you can't bank on that either. So I think those elements really help the film and drive it. And I love the fact that it kept the cast small. They're my only real, not nitpick, but I wish they spent a little bit more time with these characters before the actual boat capsized. Because I wanted to know more. I mean, we got some time with Kate and Luke, but Matt and Susie... I wanted a little bit more with them. And Warren. Warren was a very interesting character. And we didn't get enough with these characters. The movie is a good runtime, though. It's one thirty, right? Around mm -hmm. that. Give or yeah. Take. And it goes really fast. Because once it capsizes, they decide what to do. 
they jump in the water, they go, and it's and that's it. Then comes the the, the all the great shark moments in this scene. So, um, well, speaking of shark, Joe the psychologist, let's go, brother. We talked about it already, but let's go. Let's deep dive even further into this discussion. What did you think about the sharks and the kills, bro? Because we always mention kills, but this movie, I, it's a bit different. Yeah, me. no, I mean, <laughs> so go for it, brother. What you got? Like for me, as JR said, the zero CGI in this movie adds to legit making you fucking be scared because that was a real shark that they shot. I mean, like, so it, you know, when you, when we, the movies that we reviewed bait and deep blue sea that, you know, they look fake. So, but this was real. So that separates it. It separates it. So when Matt, as when Matt, Matt, the brother, right? Yeah, Matt. When Matt got bit, like, I, again, I know I'm watching a movie, but the beauty of sometimes movies and when you know real stories is like you feel like you're watching a documentary, which was somewhat like I feel with this. So when that happened and you actually saw the real shark, you're like, oh shit. Like, oh, like this, like the, the, the kills. Um, what was the girlfriend Matt Matt's girlfriend's name? Susie. 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 What, because all you got to see of Susie was just the the blood in the water, just yeah. you know, which you knew that from the her biting or the shark biting her. That was just like the but like that the shot of that it it looked and when, real. And when Luke looked underwater and you just saw the blood. Just, Trail, just going yeah. deeper and deeper. It looked and deep. real, and it, cool. you know they and, and and kudos, kudos, kudos to cinematography, direction in this movie to make a shot because we're so, you know, I, I, I was going to say general is highest, but we're just with all the CGI that we have, you know, sensitized or desensitized, whichever one of those two fits right now. We're desensitized, the three of right. us. Yeah. <laughs> we're desensitized, but it it. You can tell they used some type of something for real blood. That wasn't that wasn't some fake dye they put in the water. That shit looked like legit what blood would look like. You know, if I'm wrong, then somebody let me know. But um, I feel like they use probably something from you know a butcher place just to you know. But it pig blood. It, the, pig blood. Yeah, it, the the just the fact that they used a real shark to for these kills is what elevated and for me honestly i know you wanted to see more but because we didn't get to see more i feel that actually added a little bit more who said that you no like the more story on on the brother and susie oh, story beats yeah, yeah, yeah story wise yeah like you like for me the fact that you didn't get that because everything happened so fast good show yeah is what made the movie and even more because you could have had while they're on the boat these conversations, you know, and flashbacks, but instead everything was just like, boom, boom, boom. But it's funny because we all harp on, you know, slow burns. There's a lot of slow burning moments in here, but the boom, boom, boom. And the slow burn parts are perfect. It's, it, 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 it's literally, it's not a slow burn unless, you know, so you, after a while you watch it, you're like, okay. Cause you've seen it. Like, I don't, I, you're never bored watching this movie. No. <laughs> No, and I, I, I never check in your phone. Or... Well, yeah, you know, the special effects, everything that was done, just to make the you know deaths all seem so realistic, because you knew people actually died in order for these characters to be done. Just fucking elevated the fucking movie. I mean, the Susie scene for me was the best one because he's looking on the wall, looking for the shark, and the shark just comes out of nowhere. Let me ask you that. The sea behind you when that shark attacked, that's a real shark? It's a yeah. real shark. By the way, awesome jump scare. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I legit jumped. Even when I saw it recently, because it's been a while, I was like, oh, my God, I forgot how great that jump scare. That's how you do a jump scare. Well, um, just real quick, because on that scene, because when, ha- when I first saw it, and you know, you saw them all ugly cry, ugly scare. I'm like, oh no! But then when I watch it again with Adam, I'm like, I would ugly look like that, right? <laughs> like it was oh, legit. Uh, I would look just like. At I first, I knocked it, but my face would probably be like, ah, like, oh I'm yeah, sorry. Like, I would have crapped the water. 
I mean, <laughs> you're gonna want to bite me. You're gonna have to go through my shit. <laughs> you, hey, that might be a good defense. You never know. They would care about that. I don't think they would care. One thing too, I before I, Jay, before I throw it back to you, I gotta mention it. Luke, not Luke. Uh, Warren. Once again, he he warned them. Listen, those wetsuits will make you look like seals, seals, seals. and sharks are attracted to seals. And I mentioned this in the Bay video. Sharks naturally don't hunt humans. They mistake nope. them. Surfers, surfers look else. like seals. Yes. Yeah. So that I like that little detail they added. And they all put on wet. What the? Why do they put? What's the well? Because for? the water, the water's cold, okay. and so you okay. you want you want to avoid hypothermia. Yes. 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 All right. So Perfect. here's the thing: if they didn't put those wetsuit on, they you know they would have all gone down like Jack in the Titanic. And just would have been actually they probably would have been a better way to go to be honest with you. Mm. you know, just freeze and then let them eat you after you're but fucking frozen dead. I would have gone out that way actually. Not that I think about it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not even fighting. <laughs> I'm sorry, go 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 ahead, Joe. No, sorry, but yeah. I, I do like that Susie scene because you know people like they, they view sharks like they're mindless, but they're not. Sharks are hunters. They're predators. They know what they're doing. The fact that and a lot of the shark movies we watch, they attack on the surface and that they leave the body. But in reality, sometimes they bite and they drag the body under to make the person drown as well. So this shark was very methodical in the way he was killing. The way, I mean, it was the way he circled them. He came in close whenever he wanted. And the, I love the scenes where he put on the goggles and he looked and the shark swimming in the distance. There's a part where the shark's swimming dead at them, turns around, goes the other way. I mean, this shark was literally toying with them, and the way it was just shot was beautiful, but that soothing scene was just amazing because they did not... All right, this is a shark movie that did not need to show the gore. Nope. They let you imagine the gore. And for me, what Susie went through was worse than what Matt went through because at least Matt got hit once, and then he got... He was basically half dead when he got hit again. But he was Susie dead. Was, he was dead. Well, yeah, because well, he was happy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because lost so much loss of blood. Well, the spot between the shock, yeah. he probably he probably passed out first, and then yeah. Right? But like where Susie was just wide awake, she was. Remember, she, at this point, they were happy because they they saw yeah. the yeah. a little that Maybe yeah. worse, you know, which kind of reminded me of Jaws too, <laughs> when they run into the, when they're stuck in. Uh, oh my god, what the hell was the name of that? And I just figured, watched Jaws two like five times this week. It's a power. It, it's yeah, a, I forgot the name, but it was almost reminiscent <laughs> to that. So in a way, I was like, "Oh my god, this is like a little bit of a, you know, menage to the, like a, a thing for um draw suit because it's almost the same thing that they're, they're going to." It was power station two, I think, because behind her was like a little bit of a building. Yeah, it could be fun. It be fun. You guys hit on most of the points I wanted to hit. I mean, the fact that when he first saw the shark, and Luke saw it, and he was like, "Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows?" But once it was closer, he couldn't deny. It. He's like, "Yeah, it's a shark. It's it's big." <laughs> and they kept showing the shark, circling them, just surveilling them, circling around. But that's what they do. They 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 want to uh, observe this survive. What is this? This is new. To, mm, do I want to eat this? Uh, maybe I don't know. But the way it kept fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? And all right, it's gone. They kept going. Then it, it, it reappears, and that dorsal fin pops. Oh man, dude! And the fact that it's a real shark. You know, you and I, um, I'm doing research now, obviously on Jaws, and the fact that Bruce's shark was a mechanical shark—the shit they went through with that. <laughs> knowing how technology evolved now, that they could use actual real sharks in the actual this. ocean. Uh, well, was this an ocean? I don't. I, yeah, yeah. It was filmed in the ocean. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. check. Yeah, I want to okay. say New Zealand. I forgot the locations. They used two locations. I, I think it was say five, five days of filming. So, are, are these so? These actors are. Is it safe to assume they're they're like? They're alive. Officially, they're alive. no, no, they're they're <laughs> like official tissue. They they're real like scuba divers or like because they're probably, they were, they, they they probably well, no, I mean, GR. They, they probably oh, no. ended up having some type of training. That's and, a big ass shark. Yeah. Imagine me as an actor, right? Okay, I I could I could tread water easily. I could do that. Oh no, but there's gonna be a fucking like a fifteen foot long shark just you know dancing around you the whole time. That's impressive, man. It is. This movie's it's an impressive feat of filmmaking. Now, if they took liberties and had a, a, a maybe a fake shark for these moments, or stunt actors that that wasn't really them, but they made it look like them. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you. 
whatever the case may be, whether it's real or not, it looked fucking good. That's all yeah. that matters to me. It looked fucking good. And the fact that they didn't have to rely on heavily CGI, man, that was great, dude. Uh, I, I just, the shark attacks, you know, I don't, this movie didn't need a high body count. Because no. you have those four people in the water, you got attached to them. Especially Luke and Kate. And Matt and Susie, you know, Matt um was the brother of Kate. So immediately there's a connection there. I thought he was brother. Luke's brother. No, no. Kate and oh. Matt were brother or brother and sister. Oh. So immediately there's a connection there, obviously. And Luke had a relationship with Kate. And Susie obviously is is part of the family because she is either I mean I, I don't know if they're married or not, but let's say that's Luke's sister. I'm not it's Kate's gr- sister. Uh, girlfriend. So yeah, so the, the, it's not just random people. It's a small cast, but they're more like a family. And they and they you know, they didn't just meet, you know what I'm saying? The only person that they were kinda iffy on was Warren, but I believe they knew him as well because that was his boat that they chartered, you know, and they trusted him. So I love the small cast and the deaths felt real. Matt JR said it, they took his leg. That's it. But you didn't see it. you don't have to see it. Just yeah. see the impact, the blood. And when they saw that blood, I'm like, oh, no, blood in the water. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> That's all you needed. And, and, I would have been like, let him go. Let him that, yeah. push him out. Push him out. Yeah, and Luke, of course, Luke was very close to Matt because assuming, you know, obviously his girlfriend, that was her brother. So he must have known him as well. So, to see, But he made the tough call. Let's go. We got to go. Go, go. Come on, come on, come on. We can't mourn. We got to go. And then the fact that GR mentioned they, they found land. And I love the fact that when they found land, it was still dangerous because all that coral and the, the reefs, sharp. I'm yep. glad they brought that yep. up. Yep. I'm glad they weren't really nearly the foot, cutting the foot, walking <laughs> around that sharp ass. No, those that is fucking yeah. sharp. And she got that cut. And I love the fact that later on, after Luke, Luke fucking do everything, man. If I've ever mm-hmm. lost mm-hmm. anywhere, I want to be with someone like Luke. He tied it that little. Do it with me. <laughs> so if I get cut, you would do that. Oh, dude, I, I yeah. Like I, I carry, you have no idea. Like you have no idea how much shit is in my book bag right now. People have will ask me for stuff, and I'm like, you yeah, know, I got that. It was a slow burn, but didn't feel like a slow burn. Nope. Which I give them credit for that. The cinematography, amazing. Real shark, awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, this film, I, I'll give it a four and a half. Like I wanted to give it a five, but I think four and a half is 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 reasonable. And for what it was, I mean, this is one of those movies that. I give it a four and a half, but I can't ask for more and I can't ask for less. So for me, I think four and a half is is, is a good good rating for this film. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I a lot of your points, man, spot on with, with me. Man. How about you, Joe? Joe right. is psychologist. <laughs> so for me, I will say when you got to the reef part, this was out of what I found to be a, a near perfect shark movie where I got really annoyed. Because like and they just got on the rock. Just fucking keep going. Like, I would have been, like, if it would have been us three and Jared would have been like, let's sit on this rock for a minute. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to keep going. Like, I'm going to keep going. It's right there. Why am I stopping? And, you know, I probably would have followed the reefs instead of going to deep part. Because like Junior said, they went straight. And then all of a sudden you can see it got deep again. That's my only critique on it was just kind of what I found to be a dumb decision of not just keep going. You know, at that point, they made themselves be picked off one by one. Small nitpick, to be honest with you, because unless you've watched this movie, if you watch it one, two times, you're not really going to think that part. Me, I think, like I said, I, I know I've watched it a couple of times before we did the review. I watched this for Adam. The best part about Adam, I was looking over. He literally had his hands like on the side of the recliner. Like you can see, which is what you want to see when people are watching horror movies, that they're grabbing onto things, the white knuckling. And he said, this movie was so good on the intensity, like the buildup. Like you don't, as you said, right? You don't need the gore. The, the, the cinematography scored that on the fact that they use little nuances to make it look like real deaths. Um, <laughs> I'm going to admit one thing right now, because I think that it probably affects some of the scores that I've done in the past is the fact that I'm supposed to score the movie individually. And in my head, I've always kind of like, you know, compared to other stuff and other stuff that I've scored, but I forget that I'm supposed to just individually score the movie itself. This isn't getting a five for me. It, it's not Jaws. I would probably put this right behind Jaws 
because it, it had again with no special effects it looked awesome this film it feels real i think one of you guys mentioned it i apologize i forgot who but they mentioned documentary this film felt like it was a documentary you is it felt real because you knew what happened. Yeah, it's like makes it feel real. Yeah, the shark again. When he showed the shark, it was only one shark at that. They didn't try and glorify. Oh, no. let's make a whole school of no. It's one shark. I love this fucking film, bro. I don't think this. It goes by quick. I, I there was a one time I was like, "Fuck, man, why did they do that? that?" Was corny or whatever. But I got nitpicks as far as you know. I wanted more of the character development, but like Gr or I, again, one of you guys said it. <laughs> Me. <Ew, Joe. laughs> There's no time for that, and you didn't need it because you got that through Luke and Kate. Because interactions, you got Kate to. It, is Matt's, is Matt's, Kate and Matt are siblings, and you knew that from the jump. And yes, the interactions. Interactions. Absolutely. You saw. You saw that there was. We didn't need to see a buildup of a relationship. These are existing friends and family members. And there's no. So we're just. We're just watching a moment where these people make the horrible mistake of yeah. going out this day. And by the way, the minute that boat that they were on that deflated, my horror self would have said, we're fucked. There wasn't a lot of violence, only what happened to the characters. In the very end, Luke gets fucking mauled. He gets taken down. It's only Kate. But they don't, obviously, they tell you that Warren was never found and the yacht was never found. So that. Yep leads you to tell you it tells you it sunk and there were sharks in the water he's gone but again since they didn't show it me jr yujo we can have three different scenarios on what happened and that's the brilliance of this movie i'm gonna give it a five it's a five for me too that's gonna do it for this episode of three corners of horror thanks for watching us guys shark week is still upon us we ain't done yet please Subscribe to the channel. Give us them likes. Please enjoy horror. And if you haven't seen this movie and the countless others that are out there, good or bad, support film, support horror. My name is Ricky Grimes. My man, JR. Joe the Psychologist. Come back next week for more blood curling talk and action from your boys, the three corners of horror. Be good. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Most of all, stay scared. No, wait. Don't go in the water.